This is the Xbox 360 Slim, the best version of the best Xbox. Today, I'm going to show you what's inside. Here we go. To start, we have to get the plastic that keeps the sides together off. We'll take off this cover, and underneath that is the hard drive bay, and we'll also unclip this plastic from the other side. On the other side, we have one big piece of plastic. This one might be tough to get out, I'll just pry at it with a flathead screwdriver. And there we go, we can just pull the holding out. So now we actually have to take this thin black layer off the side, and this part sucks. They melted the edges into the frame, so you have to snap the connections with a screwdriver. So, we got the big chungus screwdriver. This guy should do a great job. And here we are, we got it. That was a pain, but I was able to get the thin plastic and the shiny black frame off. Next, see this green thing? That's the network card, and we really don't want to break it. So we're gonna take this out, but yeah, that's a special little screw. I gotta go get my box of rare screws. I'm back, and I've got the orange screwdriver set. You're probably gonna see this guy in a lot more videos from here on out. He can open anything. I lost the actual screwdriver from the set, so we're gonna use the iFixit driver, not sponsored. We'll just reach in here and unscrew it. I think it's a torque screw, and there we go. We can pull out the card. It's attached to the motherboard with this wide USB port. That's wide. That's pretty weird. The sticker doesn't say Xbox or Microsoft or anything. Maybe they just bought a common part? This metal box with the sticker is the radio, and this chip is the controller. Also, I got the plastic off the other side, which took forever. There's also a black rim around the edge. On the other side, when I pulled the plastic plate out, it came with it, but this time it's separate, so I'll just pry it out here. We'll pop all the clips around the edge off, and then we can pull it out and we didn't break a single clip. So before even seeing the inside of the console, I've removed all these side plates, these black grills, and the network card. And now, finally, we get to void our warranty. This little sticker covers both halves, and if it comes off, say goodbye to Microsoft support. Nobody's opened this Xbox before, but that's about to change. We'll just peel it with this small screwdriver bit, And there we go, warranty successfully voided. Now's a good time for me to show you all the gaming ports on this thing. We got the external power supply plug, some sort of locking port, the weird optical audio port thing, big honkin' AV plug, HDMI, LAN port, and this weird angled USB port, which plugs into this weird orange USB, which is actually the Kinect plug. Original Xbox 360s needed an adapter to use the Kinect, but the Xbox 360 Slim has native Kinect support. Then you've got three regular USBs here, and also, two under this flap on the front. So that's all the ports. Now we get to peel the case off, which isn't actually hard at all if you know the secret trick. There's two tabs under here, and two over here. These two I can simply pop out with my screwdriver, and the left one over here is easy, but there's one under this sticker, all the way inside the case, and there's no way I can reach that. Right? Wrong. So I'll unclip these two, and the one on the other side. Then you just peel this sticker off, and there you go. That's a clip release hole. I'll pop it open with this tiny screwdriver bit, but you can use the end of a paper clip. And there you go, the case is unlatched. Now I can lift the case off, and we're greeted by another case. We have to take off five torque screws. Here, 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 and here. We need a special torque screw, and the orange bit set has it. It's a star-shaped screw. Yet another win for good old orange screwdriver set. Now let's speed this up. That should do it. Now we can flip the case over and take this side off, and then we finally get to see the motherboard. It's kind of tough, I'm just wiggling it around here. Careful, careful. There we go. This is the inside of the Xbox 360. This faceplate is connected by a ribbon cable. If you yank it off, that ribbon is toast. We've got to take it off carefully. I'll do that in a moment, once I show you what's in here. This big gray box is the disk drive, and that's the fan, which covers the heatsink. Under the heatsink is the combined CPU-GPU. All of the ports and connectors are over here, and then this is the hard drive bay. If you have a hard drive, it slots in here, and then this is a SATA connector, and that it goes into a slot on the mainboard. I'd love to get this ribbon cable off so I can really start taking this apart. I think I'm just going to tip the whole thing up on its side, and then we're going to take off the blue plastic latch, wiggle this tan connector out with our fingernail here, 
and then we can just pull out the cable. Perfect. So this thing has the little USB cover flap and the awesome touch capacitive power button. And yeah, this cable is looking just fine. Now we're going to take the disk drive out. It has two cables on the back and they're tough to pull out. We'll just kind of yank on it and there we go. Now we'll just pop off the other one. There it is, such a cool looking drive. This sticker doesn't actually say Xbox on it, it just says DVD-ROM drive, but it is a proprietary drive. On the back here we have the power cable and the data cable, that's where all the game data goes. We'll set this aside, and now we start to get a view of the motherboard, that's exciting. I'll pop this hard drive bay out, we got one screw on the bottom here, and there was another I got earlier. We also have to take the cable screw off, it's one of these rare wide screws, I don't see those often. We can take off this casing now, which has two more wide screws holding it together. Quick cable overview. We have a SATA data cable here, which goes into a smaller slot on the motherboard next to the disk drive cables, and the power cable from the disk drive goes over to the power supply area. We can also take off the I.O. shield now. There we go, it's got a little clip, and a bit you slide out. Now there's just a few things left, the fan and the heatsink. The fan's held down by two Phillips screws. There we go. The power cable for the fan goes to the same area as the disk drive power cable does. We can just yank that out. Pretty tricky. And there's our fan. It's a nice chunky boy, it spins super nice. Keeps those chips cool. I just realized we should probably take the front board off. Just two Phillips screws. And it connects with another weird wide USB plug. The lights are on the front, and then the touch sensor and then there's the port for the ribbon cable, and then that's probably the controller driver. Oh, and by the way, this front card and the network card have different proprietary USB ports. So that's interesting. So that's it, we're done. We could take the motherboard out of the metal case or take the heatsink off, but I don't want to mess with those. By the way, this heatsink makes a nice noise. Also, I think this chip takes care of video and data signals all in one chip, but don't quote me on that. And the RAM is under the edges of the heatsink. This chip is BIOS flash memory. There's coils and capacitors all around. This whole corner actually is power management and delivery. The power supply is huge, so it's external. So yeah, that is the entire Xbox 360 Slim taken apart. That was super fun to work on, and now I have to put the whole thing back together and make sure it still works. Here we go. So, did the reassembly go well? I don't know. You tell me. Looks like it's working perfectly. Project Gotham Racing 3 going in. Make sure the disk drive is working. Look at that, it's reading. Perfect. And there we go. It's working perfectly, and I'm still very bad at driving a race car. Thanks for watching.